chapter three from REM Beauty has launched and it arrived in my mailbox and I'm so excited about this. Chapter three is all about lips apparently and there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, five different formulas to try out today. There's a lot of different shades that launched. They sent me a few of the shades in some of the ranges and then in others, there's all of the shades that I can show you. So we're gonna be trying and swatching on my lips all the colors that they sent to me today and I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions on the formulas of these. We have lip liners, we have a lipstick, we have a liquid lipstick, there's also a lip oil and a lip balm. So let's dive right in. I'm gonna start off by trying out the lip balm. So this is... $14 and this is called the everything nice lip balm. It says it's a go-to dewy balm formula Formulated with oh, I was trying to pull this off, but you actually twist it. Okay Formulated with lip enhancement system known to promote fuller looking lips It says that it's clear, but it has little tiny sparkles in it. I don't know. Let's try it out Hmm. It's nice. It has like a vanilla scent to it and it just makes my lips look healthy. I don't know if you can see the glitter pigment in here. It's not anything too obvious. I thought that I would have like frosted looking lips by looking at this in the bottle, but that's not at all what you get from this. It just looks hydrated. And when you look up close, you can see tiny flecks of glitter, but it's not distracting whatsoever. And it just looks like a lip balm from far away. Hmm, that's nice. I feel like it takes me a while to try out lip balms to see if they actually hydrate the lips. So I'm gonna have to give this a go for the next week or so, but I'm gonna leave it on my desk to remind me to use it. I love to apply lip balm before filming makeup tutorials, so I will try to use that one over the next week or so to really see how it applies, but I like the scent, I like the texture. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. It feels like it's really going to nourish my lips. Yeah, it's a nice formula based off of my first impressions. Okay, next we're gonna be trying the Essential Drip Lip Oil, and this is the product that I have all of the shades in, so they actually sent me four and it launched in four shades slash flavors. I don't know if it's really a major difference with the shades because they do seem to be more of a sheer formula, but here they are. I'll show you them all together first and then it's easier to show you one at a time. First we have Mint Condition, which is this one right here. And you'll notice the applicator is really interesting on these. They all have this curve and then a little metal ball in the middle that's probably supposed to feel cooling on the lips. I'm actually excited to see how that feels. This is a sheer aquatic blue with a minty scent and menthol. Yeah, it's definitely minty. I'm not a huge mint person when it comes to my lip products because I find that they can tend to dry out my lips, but that's just me. Um, next we have Pickin' Petals, which is this really pretty shade. This is described as a sheer peachy pink with a rosy scent and chamomile. So they all kind of do something different, it seems like, or are infused with a special ingredient. Hmm, that one does smell nice, it smells rosy. Raspberry Drip is described as a sheer raspberry pink with raspberry scent and ashwagandha. Mmm, that smells good. They're really not heavily scented, which is nice. And then last but not least, we have this one, and this is called Lavender Kiss. It's a sheer cool lavender with white tea scent and lavender extract. Mmm, nice, okay. First, I'm gonna try on the mint condition. Mmm, it feels really unique having that metal in there. I'm not sure how you love it. It kind of throws me off. I don't love when metal touches my lips. I just, I don't know, it kind of like gives me the chills. And okay, the mint is not intense in this. So maybe it's not something that would dry out my lips. It's a very lightweight feeling lip oil, not sticky whatsoever. And I don't really know if you can see that much of a difference when it comes to the tint of these, but we'll see them, you know, as I swatch each one. I do love the shine that this gives and it feels really nourishing on the lips. It's comfortable for sure. So that's mint condition. Next is Pick and Petals, which is that peachy pink. I really don't know how I feel about the applicator. Like it looks really cool. I'm just so weird with metal on my lips. Mmm. I like that subtle rose scent in this one. Okay, I do feel like there's a little bit of a peachy pink tint with this one. That's a cute color. I do like that one. Let's try the other two. Raspberry Drip is next, which is kind of like this raspberry pink color. Mm, that one tastes good too. I do appreciate how the scent or fragrance in these are not overpowering. I think it's just the right amount for myself personally. So there's Raspberry Drip. They do give a really nice shine to the lips for sure. Last but not least, we're gonna try Lavender Kiss. So there's Lavender Kiss. I, I really don't feel like there's a huge difference with the tint. So it would more be like what your favorite scent would be if you were to choose one of these or like what special ingredient you resonate with most, whether it's lavender extract or ashwagandha or whatever. So it mostly adds shine. It adds like the slightest amount of tint, but nothing crazy to where it's like a full lip color. 
So there you have it. Those are the essential drip lip oils. Let's go ahead and swatch the next product. Next up, we're going to be trying out the At The Borderline Lip Liner Pencil. So this actually launched in 10 shades. They sent me four. This retails for $18 and I'm gonna try them all on. So all it says about this is it's a highly pigmented pencil to create fuller looking lips. The first shade they sent me was Harmonies, which is described as a honey beige nude. Ooh, this one's really pretty. So here's Harmonies. Oh cool, there's a sharpener at the bottom, which is really nice for these types of pencils that are a twist up. So when the pencil gets a little more dull, you can sharpen them with the built-in sharpener. That's really nice. Okay, let's try this out on the lips. Ooh, okay, these are gliding really smoothly. I really like how that blended out. It wasn't too waxy feeling, it wasn't too smooth. It's kind of the texture that I look for in a lip pencil. And this color is really nice. This is the type of color that I feel like I personally would reach for a lot, so that's the first color. The next one they sent is called Lyrics. And this is described as a chestnut rose. Ooh, this color is pretty. Look at that next to the first one, Harmonies. It's a little bit deeper. Let's try this one out. This is such a pretty color. I know it looks kind of funny just swatching lip liners, but I'm hoping it's somewhat helpful to you. Okay, my lip lines are not perfect with this, but it's a really nice color. This doesn't say anything on the paper that they sent me about like longevity or anything like that. So that's something that I'm gonna have to test out for myself, but the shade is really pretty. And so far the formula really is easy to apply. It's nice. Okay, let's try out the third color, which is 808s. This is a bright blue red. Wow, it's very bright. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, I'm excited about this one. These are very smooth. Oh, <laughs> well, my lip lines are getting very sloppy. Ooh, that's a good color. I'm trying to resist filling in my entire lip with this, but it's just so pretty. It looks like they sent the lip liners that would match the liquid lipsticks that they sent. So we'll have to try that in a second, but okay, I went overboard with this for sure, but that's a really beautiful red lip color. I love how bright it is. Classic, okay. Guys, please ignore my lip lines. <laughs> They're not the best right now. Okay, the last lip liner color that they sent me is called Reverb. This is described as a chocolate brown. So here it is swatched next to the others. It's getting harder and harder for me to make these look cute with the lip liner swatches. I'm hoping it's helpful to you. <laughs> I'm kind of coloring it in. Okay, this looks really messy, but you get the point, okay? It's a nice chocolate brown, and it looks like it's gonna match this liquid lipstick. You see what I mean? So we'll revisit this when it's time to swatch the liquid lipsticks. But first, there's another lipstick formula to try. So we're gonna be swatching the On Your Collar Classic Lipsticks. I feel like these are already making me smile because of the packaging. If you're familiar with their other lipsticks, you'll know that it has the Astronaut Window, which these also have. It's a little bit of a different shape. They're longer, and the applicator is actually really thin, but I'm excited to try these. So this is supposed to be a classic lipstick with vivid color and one stroke application. So they did send me four shades in this as well. We're gonna start out with Lingerie, which is described as a pink honey nude. So I'm gonna swatch these on my hand first. That looks so pretty. Ooh, I like the formula. It's a very easy to wear formula and easy to apply as well. So there's that color. This is a really nice everyday kind of a color. Packaging is just so cute. I'm obsessed with it. I forgot to tell you, this comes in 10 shades as well and these retail for $19 each. The next shade that they sent to me is Cuddly and this is a rich red brown. So I'll swatch it next to the first one. Here's what that one looks like. I really like this formula. It's not a matte formula. It's also not like a super high shine formula. It's right in the middle. It's very comfortable on the lips. You don't need that much. And I kind of have been taking my finger to blend out the color. Again, ignore the lip lines. <laughs> we'll create a final lip look at the end that's like more precise. These feel really nice. So far, I really like these the most out of everything I've tried. The next color they sent me is CEO, which is a deep burgundy. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh my, that's really pretty. I love these colors in fall, especially if burgundy is like one of my favorite colors to wear in fall. So let's try this color out. Now this is something that would definitely look better if I took my time with lip liner and cleaned up the edges, but I'm just trying to give you a good idea. This formula is so nice. So there's the deep burgundy. That's a really flattering burgundy. Okay, and then last but not least, we have the color Attention, which is a bright blue red. Yeah, so I feel like these all will kind of work together because I have the bright blue red lip liner. So I feel like I'll be able to have a lip liner match all of these. So here's what that one looks like next to the others. And let's go ahead and try this one on. These are really, really pigmented. This formula is really nice. Pretend my lip lines are much better. But that's a really nice classic red. 
So again, this one is Attention. So yeah, there's way more shades. There's six more shades in this, some of which I feel like I would really love. Like there's one that's called like a warm pink nude. There's a mauve pink. There's a beige rose. Those seem like my types of colors, but you know, I will test out the formula first before I go pick up more of the shades just so that I know it's a formula that I really like, you know? Okay, we have one more formula to try out, and that is the liquid lipstick. So we have the On Your Collar Liquid Lipstick. It's described as a supercharged hydrating color that lasts up to 16 hours. And they sent me four out of the 10 shades in these as well. Actually, no, there's nine shades in these. And these also retail for $19. Packaging on these is really nice. They're rounded with a flat edge so they don't roll off your desk. And let's check out the applicator. Whoa, whoops. It's a nice slanted and curved applicator. So let's swatch these as well. I'm gonna start off with the shade Haughty, which is described as a brown nude. I'm gonna swatch these underneath the classic lipsticks just to give you a comparison of the shades. So here's the shade Haughty, which I will swatch on the lips. My lips are probably gonna fall off after this video, but I think it's worth it to try on all the colors. That's a really nice shade. Okay. It went on smoothly. It's on the thinner side, but it's like a thin mousse is kind of how I would describe the texture. It's drying down really quickly. So there's that first color. I'm gonna try to wipe it off before it dries down all the way. <laughs> Otherwise it's gonna be so hard for me to remove. All right, next I'm gonna swatch the shade Yum. This is described as a chestnut rose. So really pretty color. Here's what that one looks like right here. Let's go ahead and try this on. Ooh, I like that color a lot. I could see myself wearing that one quite a bit. So it starts out really thin, and then as it immediately dries down, it starts to feel more moussey. So there's that shade on the lips. Again, this one is Yum. Next we have Absolutely, which is a rich chocolate brown. So yeah, this will match that rich chocolate brown lip liner perfectly. Here's what this one looks like swatched on my arm. And now let's try it out on the lips. This one almost applies a little more sheer than the other two. Um, still a really pretty color. I also am really liking the applicator on these. I will obviously be able to get a better edge with the lip liner underneath it, but I think it applies it really evenly, which is nice. So there's the chocolate brown. Last but not least, we have Diva, which is a pink based red. And here's what that looks like. So it's really pretty. You can kind of tell in this light right here, that pink undertone, which I think is really nice. Since this is the last lip color, I'm going to actually apply a little bit of lip balm, just a tiny bit, just to rehydrate my lips for a second. I'm gonna try to let that soak in for a minute. Okay, and then I'm just gonna blot that just down a little bit. And I'm going to apply the 808's lip liner color. Okay, and then I'm going to apply Diva, the liquid lipstick. I'm just gonna fill in the lip lines with this. Okay, so my lip lines look a little bit nicer, but I wanted to use the lip liner so that I could wear this for the rest of the night and leave a note in the description box about how I feel about the liquid lipstick specifically. So I'm gonna let this dry down fully. I kind of wanted to swatch the lip liners one more time, just underneath everything so we can see them all together. So I'm gonna do the red first. This is 808s, the chocolate brown reverb right underneath that. So you can see like you could wear these lip liners with any of these two lipstick colors. Next up is Lyrics, which is kind of that more mauve color, which again would match with any of these. And Harmonies, which is that one right here. So you can see they did this on purpose and kind of sent all the same colors in the different formulas so that you could kind of mix and match. They're not the exact same colors, but you know, you can see they go together. <laughs> Okay, so let's quickly review everything because I already feel like I have the products that I would gravitate toward just based off my first impressions. And obviously I'll keep using these so I can really tell you how they work. But the first thing we tried was the Everything Nice Lip Balm. I really did enjoy how this applied. Like I said, I'm gonna leave this on my desk so I can actually see if it hydrates. So I can't really say like it's a need yet, but I actually really did enjoy the little glitter in here. And I think it makes my lips look really nice and hydrated. I'm so picky with lip balms though. So it'll take me a minute to figure out if this is something that will really stick in my routine. So right now, although it's pretty, it's not a need yet because I don't really know if it will actually hydrate my lips, which is what I care about when it comes to a lip balm. And it feels hydrating upon application, but I need to know if it will actually sink in. Do you know what I'm saying? The essential drip lip oils. I think these look really cool. I think they're very innovative with the packaging, with the applicator. For me, because I'm so like funny about just metal touching my lips, I don't know if I love this because it just kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies having something that cold on the lips. I don't really know. But that's just me. I think they're nice. I think that they added a really beautiful shine to the lips, but 
As far as the lip oil formula goes, right now my heart is with the Jaclyn lip oils, which I just recently did a swatch video on all those new colors that launched. It's a formula that I've been using for a long time, so I'm kind of like hooked on those. And so for me, I don't think these are a need and I don't think I'll get very much use out of them because of the applicator. I know that's like supposed to be the best part about it, but I really don't like when metal touches my lips. <laughs> it happens with like lipsticks too. If the, if the component has like a metal and I feel it scraping on my lips, oh, I hate it. So those weren't my favorite. They're not bad. <laughs> and I'm being a little picky because of the metal part, but I will say, I feel like the Jack and Cosmetics lip oils are just really something that I feel like adds to my collection where this one is something that I feel like I've felt on my lips before as far as the texture goes. Moving on to the classic lipstick. I really liked the formula of these. Now out of the four colors they sent me, there weren't any that was like groundbreaking for me. I, I really do feel like I will check out more of the colors of these because I did like the formula and the packaging is so cute. They were easy to apply and really comfortable on the lips really highly pigmented, easy to kind of blur out if you want to. So I feel like these were my favorite out of everything that I tried today. And it makes me want to go to my Ulta and check out some of the other colors because I just have a very specific tone and undertone preference when it comes to lip colors. And I think these were pretty. I really did actually enjoy, let me see, which ones were they? I liked both lingerie and cuddly. I will get use out of those, but as I'm reading down like the shades and the descriptions, I need to pick up the mauve pink or the beige rose you know? <laughs> so I think I will. And these are actually really weighted. They feel really luxurious. So I'm excited about these. The packaging just kills me. It's so cute. Last but not least, the On Your Collar Liquid Lipstick. There was a color and I think it might be doll face. There's a color that I saw swatched on their Instagram. I think it is because it's described as a vivid pink raspberry. And so that sounds like a color, like a bold color that I would really like. When it comes to bold shades, I actually do really enjoy a liquid lipstick because I feel like I don't have to worry about it moving around, which is nice. So I may go check out that color. So far, this feels really nice on the lips. I'll leave a note in the description box down below, letting you know how it wore for me for the rest of the night. Um, but I liked how they applied. Again, the chocolate brown was a little bit sheer feeling, like it, was, it looked a little patchy on me. But other than that, I really did like the applicator. The formula is nice and thin. And when it dries down, it doesn't feel cracky. Like it doesn't feel crusty on the lips. There's still a bit of a stretch and a movement to it, which is nice. And that's what I look for in a liquid lipstick these days. This red is a really nice color. I feel like my favorite shades are definitely these two though. If I had to choose Hotty and Yum out of the ones that they sent me. But so far it feels very comfortable on the lips. So yeah, be sure to check the description box for that. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the lip liners. So these actually applied really smoothly. I really like how there's a sharpener at the bottom. They're very pigmented and they feel like they also dry down, which is great for longevity. I have a very specific taste when it comes to lip liners. If you missed my lip liner video, I'll have it linked down below for you guys. I share with you my top lip liners of all time. So out of the four shades that they sent me, I really like these two. I really like Harmonies and Lyrics because they're kind of more of the light nude colors and this one has a little bit of a rosy tone to it, which was nice. But I'm looking at the shades again and I think that there would be other shades potentially that I would use more. So there's not a shade in the lip liners that I'm like, oh my gosh, you need this color at least not right now, but I did really enjoy the formula. So if there is a color that you see that resonates with you, I, I like these so far and I do feel like I will use them. They were a really perfect texture. Again, not too dry, not too slick, not too waxy. It's the texture that I really like when it comes to lip liners, especially super high pigmented ones like these. Okay, so those were all the lip products or the formulas, I should say, that launched in chapter three from REM Beauty. I think it's fun that they expanded their lip range. I love lip products, um, but because I love lip products and I've tried so many, out of everything right now, and the liquid lipstick is pending, it feels comfortable so far, I will say. But out of everything I tried as of now, I think these lipsticks are what are really special. They're so pretty. I love how they apply. So out of the whole collection, I think if you want to try something, try these out. I wasn't mad at any of the other products, but the classic lipsticks are what really are making me inspired. So that's what I would suggest checking out if you were to try anything from the chapter three collection. So yeah, that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the new formulas and all the swatches on my lips. I know my lip lines weren't perfect, but hopefully it was helpful for you to see the color difference and kind of get a feel for each formula, even though I didn't have all of the shades. Hopefully it was a good introduction for you if you're interested in picking something up from this collection. Again, be sure to check out the description box for the wear test on the liquid lip. Thanks to REM Beauty for sending me this. I'm really excited about those classic lipsticks, especially. 
I'm obsessed with lip products and I feel like you can never have too many lipsticks. <laughs> so I'm definitely excited to incorporate those into my routine. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.